Joe, what's up, beautiful people? We made it to Miami. And it's actually my first time in America after having the visa for almost three years. And I'm so glad I made it. But guess who has been coming to America all the time? Your girl, Miss Trudy, has been this is like my tenth time in America, right? All right. So where are we staying today? I want to show you guys our first apartment. We are moving to another one, but I want to show you uh, what our apartment here in Miami looks like. This apartment was one hundred and thirty dollars. One hundred thirty dollars for one night. So come in. Let's give you a tour. Welcome. Um, so when you walk in, you have this chair on your left. We have a chair like this. And the coolest thing about this chair is that it can actually switch into a bed as well. Actually, when you look it up on the Airbnb, they say this apartment can accommodate how many people beds? Four people. Four people, because you've got two on the bed and two on this when you stretch it out. What's your favorite? One thing that I love about this place is the bed. <laughs> <sighs> ah, quick up, babes. Please, people are watching. That's how it feels, man. Because as soon as I slept in here, I didn't want to wake up. But it's one... your kind of mattress. Exactly. And I love this workspace. Mm -hmm. You just sit in here, you know, more like a, a bench. Yeah, it could and be a workspace and also a dining area. Actually, in one. I ate here last night. Mm. And guess what happened? Mm -hmm. What? We bought the food. And since someone has been coming to Miami all the time, she had a different location, bought the food, took the food, the, the rider took the food, another location can you tell them what you did that? Ah, guys that was crazy what happened was i booked on doordash and uh, the last time i was in miami i stayed in a separate place i forgot to change the location and they took the food to miami beach we are not in miami beach right now but that's where i stayed the last time it was crazy we had to get an uber late at night just to go for the it was uh but thank god you found the food outside the door yep so this is a minimalist kitchen i love the fact that it's so you know very simple and you've got everything that you need with your microwave your cooker your fridge i mean yeah your dishwasher literally you can make your coffee toast bread and um you're going to cooking utensils if you want to they provided salt for you just in case but i feel like americans love coffee so they provided coffee right here for you but guess what it's more like a place that you got everything but I don't understand why I have to pay $130 for a small room like this. I don't understand why I have to pay $130 in a room where they don't have a kettle. I'm Kenyan, we take tea. But I understand that Americans love coffee. So as long as they have their coffee maker and their coffee beans, they're good. But for me as a Kenyan, I really wish they had tea. I mean, a kettle for me to make tea. I already carried my tea from Jamaica. I just wanted a kettle. Anyway, I wanted to show you this unique art on the wall and this piece right here. These are very unique pieces that make this room stand out, as well as the curtains, black curtains. I feel like black is slowly becoming the way to go. What do you think? Of? I think black is the new gold. And um, like I told you guys, if I build a house, I want the interior to be black everywhere. And that's why I love the black curtains in here. The fact that the AC it's very simple, I know. very small, but uh, very effective. Very effective. This morning, I just woke up. Let's get here. Because I felt like I had to drive. Oh, wow, babes. Really? You didn't even talk about the screen. You don't watch TVs? Because I hardly watch it. I know. That's I, true. I always watch YouTube. I yeah, hardly yeah, watch yeah. TV. So I'm so sorry. But it is what it is. If you're a TV lover, when you come in here, you're definitely going to you know, enjoy yourself. And there's one habit that I really want to. Um, uh, go on by reading every morning. Yeah, book reading, man. Maya has been so, reading. Uh, this is the new way to go. Yeah. So maybe you guys can join me, man. Recommend some books in the comment yeah. section. Recommend some it, books. I, I love like African history and books that actually empowers me as an African. Yeah. I know, right? For me, I love the interior decor. The inter interior decorator definitely took their time. Look at these pieces. Look at the wall. I don't know if this is wallpaper or painting. Wow, it's actually a wallpaper. It's a paper. painting, it's a, a wallpaper. Paper. This is beautiful. Look at these details on the wall. Wow, 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 wow. It matches the whole room. When you come in here, you've got your closet. You know, you can put your clothes in here. Uh, they really, you know, looked out for whoever is going to be staying here. You've got your iron, you've got your hair dryer, and uh, where you can hang your clothes. What would you ask for? I love long mirrors. This is a place you come and check yourself. Make and sure you're then, looking lovely before you leave. Yep, yep. <laughs> For watching, maybe. 
Ah, I told you my wife is allowed. Oh, it's allowed. Anyway. Okay, come, come, come. If it's allowed, let's 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 do it if it's allowed. Hey, they're watching. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, I love this. Ah, this is very creative. And this, look at this. Instead of putting it in a plastic thing, like they decided to put it in this. It makes a difference. Finally, welcome to the bathroom. Oh, you've got your bathtub over here. This is your kind of shower. They've got hot water. They've got enough towels for you. Look at this detail on this mirror, babe. It just makes it stand out. I love when people go out of their comfort zone. They will just put any mirror. But the mirror is very detailed, you know. Um, yeah, I love it. Even this piece on top of the loo. Yes, guys, that's what's up. This has been our apartment for a night. As I told you guys, we are changing. Did you talk about this unique pieces? It's actually candles. In case lights go out. Do lights go out in America, babe? Never had. No. Never. If you want to have a romantic night. Ooh. So if you want to have a romantic night, all you need to do is so switch off the light and then use the Oh, wow. Candle. Look it at you. you different lights so that those of us who wants to have some fun in the night can have fun with a candle only romantic men know this exactly damn babe yep and i want you all to read this romantic. place do you think a hundred and thirty dollars is it worth it yeah that's 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 all i want to know yeah thank so, you thank you and don't forget to like the video and subscribe follow us for more bye <laughs>
so uh we just moved into the new place we want to go out and eat i need to get an iphone i need to buy a new american sim card because i misplaced my old one so many things i need to do before the end of the day maya is leaving me he's going to new york he's going to new york tomorrow yeah. so i want to do as much as i can with him today before he leaves me tomorrow so i'm asking you what do you want to eat um is there any place you've wanted to eat but why <laughs> are you laughing but it's not but has is in america has been out of your reach now that you're in america you can take advantage have you had subway before babes yeah Wait, I, I've lived in China. Okay, I've, then what haven't you I've had? For so me, I know I, I always wanted to do Starbucks, but I was never. Starbucks we never had like Starbucks. Coffee. Starbucks is not in Africa. No, coffee. but they have some things other than coffee as well. Yeah, but Starbucks is not for coffee. Yeah, but it has other things as well. For me, I had always wanted to come to Starbucks. It was even on my vision board. I Back then, when I couldn't even afford a ticket to my neighboring country like Uganda, and then I came and they had it, and I was so happy. So anyway, what do you want to eat? Anything food. So you'll take Burger King. I mean America is full of fast food. Okay, so let's let's go. And let's I'll be happy if I can get some let's look for the closest Burger King. Chinese rice or something. Okay, let's see what you can let's check online. Guys, what would you recommend? Where is the best place to go here in Miami? Let us know. Alright. Remember the chef they said will make us food? Yeah. But you, I'm having trouble reaching him. My face is so oily. I should have put some powder on it. This is what I'm saying. From that room, you can see the view of the mm. ocean. Nice. I know, right? So beautiful. Yeah. And actually, water, you can beautify a place with water green. So I know, right? Yeah. Because there is a lot of water all around and it's also very green. And you're coming back, we should walk, especially if it's not dark. Yeah. I feel like my face is so oily. I have oily skin, so it gets really, really oily. I should have put some powder before I left the room. Anyway, guys, I feel like we need to find somewhere where we can shop for food because America is very expensive. Um, spending dollars all the time and it's it's very expensive. So I feel like it's better to shop in the supermarket for food. You know, things like cereal or whatever you'll take for breakfast, and then um, yeah, I think it's gonna save us a lot of money. Guys, as you can see. Maya hasn't touched his hair uh, since before he got to Jamaica because we, we met a Rastafarian who told him not to tell the barbers not to touch it, leave it the way it is, embrace being a black man and that's that's a one so he's not, he's not touching it mm, yeah he's not touching it you so I, I, I think that's hair. amazing if you grow your hair because you always no. You are a black African representative. Let the hair represent blackness. You get what I mean? What, or what do you guys think? If you think Maya should grow his, his dreadlocks, his hair, drop a comment. Let us know. If you think that he sh he needs to shave it, then also let us know. I feel like it should just be black all through. I know you're gonna shape here when you go to Ghana. That's actually the truth. He wants to shape the hair when he goes to Ghana. Just like me and my hair. I'm like I'm not comfortable doing my hair anywhere else. I, initially it was just in Kenya but now that I moved to Ghana it's like in Ghana you know so yeah that's why I didn't get my hair done when I was in Jamaica and now in the US so I'm gonna wait till I go back so it's the same thing as him but guys let's start a movement Dread or the Maya for dreadlocks <laughs> drop a comment let us know oh, maybe no. when he sees so many of you guys it will gonna help me convince him so yeah thank you in advance you wanna look so fine babe you and your black hair. You see, it looks so good with this hair. Don't don't touch it. Remember what the war craster man said. Don't touch it. Guys, so we just go to um, Burger King. But then where we are, I see Subway on the opposite side. And I see Starbucks. So I'm like, I'm tempted. I'm like, maybe I, maybe, maybe I want Subway or Starbucks instead of Burger King. I just feel like we've got so many choices. There's also other restaurants. I don't know their names, but these are the most popular ones. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know. I think I want Subway. Babe, do you want Subway instead of Burger King? Maya just wants Burger King. So let's go eat. Um, medium. Oh, what do you think? Take medium. Guys, so we're here. Apparently you order from here. You don't, because we are standing here for like five minutes. Oh, okay. 
Mm, was, this is okay. We're standing here for like five minutes and no one was talking to us. And when he asked if you can order, they told us we just, uh, you know, pick what you want from here. This is a totally new experience for me. Um, but I think you have to do one at a time, or oh, there's someone else in the next one. So I just let you finish. I totally want to try the onion rings. It's been a minute since I took onion rings, babes. One major culture shock we have experienced here in Miami is that almost everyone we've encountered speaks Spanish. All our Uber drivers, the, the lady cleaning our room, um, you know, people in the streets when you go to shop. We are shocked because we thought people mostly speak English in the US. Uh, I guess you are just wrong. Well, guys, let me tell you, this Oreo milkshake at Burger King is everything. You gotta try it. And when you do, please uh, tag me. Let me know. Let me know how good it was. If you've also taken it before, let me know how you found it. You want to go out for a walk? Go ahead do that. I'm so happy to be walking in the streets of America with my baby. Um, babe, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Oh, see, Starbucks. That was the one place I always wanted to come. And you see how they say, make your vision board. So I made my vision board and I, you know, to envision me in America in Starbucks because you don't have Starbucks in Africa, wow. right? Yeah. I had, someone said they have it in South Africa, but not in any other country. So I envisioned myself in Starbucks. And actually when I was in New York, I went and actually took Starbucks and it was surreal. Anyway, so yeah, nothing is impossible. Just put it on your vision board, it's gonna happen. That's the message. Is this a Ferrari? Damn, we're seeing us. Guys driving crazy cars here. See, this is like the 10th Ferrari we are seeing today. Damn. Anyway, baby, I wanted to ask you uh, as someone who you know loves Africa and always encourages people to go back to Africa, now we are in America. What do you think about America? What do I think about America? Mm -hmm. It's a, a country where the system works. Yeah. I mean, people are obeying the traffic and all of that. And I think America is America, right? What, what, what do I have to say about that? For me, I was telling Maya, I love, what I love most about America is that it's very developed. Can you walk? I love the fact that it's multicultural. Yeah, you see so many people, different, different races. So, different races, different. That's, that's the thing I love about America. Like, um, you can find everyone in here. You know, from every country, every race, you mm. can find them in here, religion, every, yeah. everyone, literally. You know, so, to me, when you talk of America, that's, that's the only thing that comes to my mind. Yeah. And that when we were growing up, everyone wanted to go to America. Yeah, you know? everyone. Oh, yeah. you go to America, you made it. So, baby, we and, made it. Uh, Walking in the streets no, of no, Miami, no, we no. made it, baby. Look at us. No, 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 no. no. Yes, baby. Mama, we made it. Still got, still got dad, I know go. you're watching, Dad. We I'm made still, it. Still got a long way to go. <laughs> still got a long way to go. But that was the mentality, you know. When you come to America, that's it. You made it in life. But now we feel like Africa is the place to be. Yep. Like for us, we can travel anywhere in the world. We can come to America. We can go to Europe. But east or west, Africa, Africa is home, October. and home is always the best. Pray for their so safe cool, you know, like just, and immediate what? return. I think this is, is the Israel, Israelites, right? Ah, so sad. So many people. Look at that. <clears throat> right, babe. We just pray that the world can be peaceful all over, both Israel and. And Pakistan, Pakistan, Gaza, every country in the world can just enjoy peace, peace of mind, sound mind. I pray, I pray for the world to have peace and love. I hope we can get there. Someday. Oh, that's a nail parlor. Oh, okay, this is a baby store. Okay, spring and tanning. Baby, you want to turn? Huh? You're naturally tan. You don't need to come here for tanning. <laughs> oh, see, they sell cute clothes. Sewed by hand. Oh, cute, cute, cute. <clears throat> tanning. Oh, they have so many places to tan, babe. But you can just go to the sun instead of coming here just to tan. Taiyaki. 
Oh, bubble tea, babe. I think you got me introduced me to bubble tea. Yep. <clears throat> you told me when I went to Malaysia, you were like, oh, buy this. It's called bubble tea. You remember we're talking on the phone? And I loved it so much. <clears throat> but we live somewhere here. Yeah, we live just around here. I love our location, man. We live in the perfect location. <clears throat> Guys, this is where we stay. We came back to the hotel, then Maya wants to go to the beach. So we changed to shorts and sandals. And now we are going. I gotta take a video oh, with you, bro. Like, what? I'm like, damn, That's bro. It. I'm like, yo, I know one day I will see you, bro. Yeah, we are. I'm from Haiti. You're from you Haiti? Were, yeah, you was talking about Haiti. You remember you? Yep, you yep. was talking about this guy. Uh, uh, this, the guy who wants to be president? In Africa, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, like, like, don't count, don't count, my brother. Love, man. You, <laughs> good to see you, my good brother. Good to see you, my brother. Like, good, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, I, I work right here, bro. You go to Haiti one day, bro. No, definitely. No, okay, you gotta go to Haiti. To do that. And, um, I but we're gonna have a lot of, uh, you know, barbecue is up. Yeah, we're doing a lot of shit in there, so that's yeah. why. Don't go. But I'll, 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 I'll just keep coming when things come down. Okay. When things come down, definitely. definitely. Yeah, definitely, bro. Like, God damn, yeah. <laughs> love, bro. <laughs> Thank God I was filming. Yeah, yeah, Thank God I was filming. So I caught it from the beginning. That's fine. Like, man, damn, what am I here? Can't believe it. I watch you, bro. Can't believe it, man. Yeah. From the beginning, superstar. America, baby. This is America. They know you in America. Babe, <laughs> yes. now we're out of the Caribbean. Yeah. Damn, superstar. My wow. Bundy, the superstar. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, but he's such a fan. Oh, wow. So that was so good. sweet. Just knowing that I've taken the trousers off. Yeah. I, I, I feel so free. You got know? your like, shorts and your sandals. Gee, I, I just wanted to go naked on the beach. Just <laughs> What? Yeah. Naked? Just naked. Remove all my clothes. Just know how I feel right now. Anyway, like, this is America. I guess I'm they can do that like, here. Freedom, I guess. I just don't want to. I don't want anything to do with a camera. I just want, I just... I know, but I'm glad somewhere. I captured that, man. Right. You know, the last time I came, I didn't have time to go to the beach. And I was alone. And, you know, walking alone as a lady outside in Miami. Like, I don't know. And guys in my comment sections are telling me, Oh, Trudy, Trudy, it's not, it's not safe. Be careful. So, I'm glad Maya is around. So, I can just walk with him to the beach. That's a up. And if you guys have noticed, I'm staying in the same place I stayed the last time. You know who is barbecue? Who is barbecue? <laughs> so is it what the guy was talking about? Imagine yeah. if I'm not, I'm not educated about what is happening in every country. Yeah, my educates himself yeah. about every so country, like, so he knows. So currently, ah, baby, you didn't tell me to change my sandals. To wear sandals. <gasps> is this the sand? Oh my god! You don't want to come? Oh, is this the sand? Man, I love this. Oh, wow. Guys, jogging. Spring in the morning. Oh yeah, so you could actually just morning. come here for morning morning jogs. I'm actually gonna be coming here. Because it's right next to where I stay. And then the beach is right here. Oh my god. Oh. Perfect location. Miami Beach, finally. I gotta remove my shoes, man. Thank god I didn't even come with my sandals because I love to remove my legs in the sand. People have not come to the beach in the US before. My yeah. first experience is with you. Yeah. Wow. And the sun has gone down. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let me show you guys. Down the entire country prison he shut down the prison prison so everybody from the prison is released what in haiti haiti is in mass right now i need to check it out i have no why didn't you send me the videos <laughs> oh 
Of course, I'm interested in Romain Vago. He's my favorite artist. We all have favorite artists, right? Who's your favorite artist, babes? Do I have one? I'm sure you do. Shatawale. Was it, remember the time you were crazy about Shatawale, babes? Do you remember? No. Is he still your number one or is there someone else? No, that's all for me, like I said. Shatter for life. It's SM awesome when you join it, it's for life. <laughs> He joined this for life, it's like a gang. Yeah. He joined this now, it's for life. Our leader sometimes, I don't agree with everything he does, but it's an SM fan, it's for life. That's so funny, even me, I'm even me, I'm a Roman Vago fan for life. That's what's up. <laughs> uh, wow, let, let me get my shoes off, man. Really? Let me get my shoes off. Ah. Oh so beautiful look at this view gotta get your shoes off and the socks off that's the self put this in the shoe oh this is so perfect i'm gonna buy a swimming costume and then come to the beach and just take cute photos you know maya is leaving me tomorrow he's going to new york so I need a travel buddy. I need someone to be hanging out with here tomorrow. Who's gonna come through for me? 